What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you my top 10 songs to learn on acoustic guitar, especially if you're a beginner. I usually go through to all the songs with my students when they get started because it's a good thing that you don't pick any really complicated song or a little bit complicated but not too much so i'm gonna give you my list of the songs to play so before we get started make sure to destroy the like button for the youtube algorithm and now let's move on to the video here we go the first song that i'm gonna be showing you today is um eleanor wigby from the beatles and this song is actually pretty cool because it's only gets two chords which is c and e minor and if you just do like a small rhythm, you can master it in literally no time and it sounds like this. This song is really beautiful, especially with the, the violin on the original track. It's uh, it's pretty cool, and you can also play it like on finger style if you if you like to. I didn't learn it on finger style because I didn't have time, and I never thought about this until now. But uh, you can also do it on finger style. It sounds pretty cool. So now let me show you the next one. So the next one is one song that I usually hate, but to practice the guitar is actually pretty cool, and it's this song that no one knows. So I guess you don't know about Wonderwall, I guess, but I really don't like this song, like, musically. It's it's alright, but I heard it so much and I told this one so much that now I'm like, eh, it's too much. But uh, this song is actually pretty cool because the strength of this song is actually that you don't need to move your fingers too much, you just need to move only two fingers. So you just go from E minor to G to D to A and you just repeat this pattern all over again and you've got Wonderwall from Oasis. So we all know Three Little Birds from Bob Marley and this song is absolutely amazing. You've got only three chords, D major, A major and E major and it's really amazing to, to get started with this song because you can also sing along, the tempo is really slow and to get used to the chords and the rhythm it is absolutely fantastic. So now let me show you the next one. I guess you don't know about this one either. Zombie, obviously, and uh, th this chord, this song is pretty, pretty cool to play. So you've got E minor to C to G to F sharp, while D major bass A, bass F sharp. And what you have to do is just strum eight times between each chords and just do the change. It's actually a really good exercise. Uh, it's a really good song actually to um, to do it for um, to to be able to change the chords really fast. And now let me show you the next song. All right, so it's Knocking on Heaven's Doors by Bob Dylan, and this one is actually pretty, pretty nice to, to play. So you just do G to D to A minor, and then one more time A minor, or C. I forgot how it sounds like. I didn't practice this one for ages, because my student is getting really sick right now, and it's been ages since we played this one. Then you, you repeat the same process with G, D, and then C or A minor. So you've got only four chords to play with, and this song is pretty cool. Especially f to move on from G to D, it's a really nice gymnastic for your fingers to, to do it. And now let me show you the next song. We 
we've got obviously Stand By Me by Benny King and uh, this, this song is actually pretty dope as well to, to work on because it gives you only four chords repeats all over again which is twice G, twice E minor, once C, once D and then twice G again and you just play this along and it's actually great to, to play this song especially if you're on Christmas time and you have no idea how to play the guitar you just know a bunch of chords so you just play this beat like you strum on the first beat clap on the second um, strum on the upbeat of the second and then clap on the fourth and you've got a really nice rhythm in like literally no time and it's always warm and really cool you know to play with your family or your friends or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever it's actually pretty cool so i definitely recommend this one So we've got obviously Fast Car from Tracy Chapman and this one is actually a really nice song to learn because it mixed a little bit with arpeggios and chords at the same time and it's not that easy to put all of those chords together so I give you the challenge and uh, let me know in the comment section if you know how to play the song if not you've got a really nice challenge to you and if you if you want to see the video that I just made I made a tutorial to play it just right here or here I have no idea I think it's here <laughs> and um, and yeah now let me show you that next song and the next song that I want to show you today is to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm because I'm making this video because it's cool and I really want to help as usual I want to help you guys to master the guitar and having fun because guitar is having fun and you know in this period of the year we had a crazy year so it's good to entertain a little bit so make sure to destroy the like button to help this video and now let me show you the next song And I just noticed that at my E string is absolutely not in tune, but you know what? I'm really lazy right now, so I'm gonna leave it as it is, because I just changed the strings. But I guess you recognize the song, and it's Let It Be from the Beatles. It's a really nice song. I definitely recommend to learn more than two songs of the Beatles. They've got an absolute vault of beautiful songs, and yeah, we should... That would be a mistake to not enjoying it. They've got especially Norwegian wood. They've got crazy chords and crazy time signature. But this one LED is on the piano basically, but you can also play it on the guitar. And once you play the C, G, A minor and F, everybody will lose their mind like pretty much instantly because everybody loves the Beatles. And now let me show you that next song. So obviously we've got Hotel California by the Eagles and this song is actually quite interesting because it makes a lot of different chords from the cage system so if you if you missed the video of the cage system how to master it you've got the video as well just right here and you've also got a bar chords and I know that the bar chords is something that really struggling that you're struggling with and it's a really good song to play it you can use the capo on the second fret to get the the actual song but i i actually like it on the standard and this song is like is really interesting to mix with uh, the cage system and the bar chords and on the final song that i want to show you today i guess you will recognize So we've got Shallow by uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper and I still haven't watched the movie. I don't know why but uh, my students ask me a lot to, they want to learn the song so I was like okay I think I'm gonna watch the movie but I keep forget to watch this movie. Shame on me! But anyway this song is actually pretty cool because it makes a lot of arpeggios and brand new chords that uh, it is outside of the cage system such as for example E minor 7 that you can find, you can find here or 
this kind of G or this D sus2 with with the hammer on here and this is one of the most well it's one of the difficulty of the song is to do the hammer on and pull off on the second fret here but uh, with a little bit of practice you can do it and um, if you play it same for Christmas or on a birthday or whatever is it is really really nice and really warm you know so yeah th that was the final song thank you so much for watching this video and to stick until the end with me make sure to destroy the like button to subscribe on the channel and let me know what video would you like to see next i'm really happy to make some content for you guys so i will see you on the next video peace out